Hello everybody, this is again Michael with the GRT edition 2022. We will have a look today in today's video on how do you display things. We will take a look at how do you do a brief edit and general understanding about what is GRT capable of and most useful for. Let's get into it. <music> So first and foremost, you must start again the server. As I said in the previous video, the server loads the data provided by the simulator, in our case iRacing. Just uh, important thing, this software supports only iRacing and I do not know anything about supporting, let's say, ACC, R Factor 2 or any other games. But let's back to it. Here I've started the server. You can see on this icon right here that I'm already loading uh, iRacing so you can see what happens. Just in the meantime, you can see it basically reads all of your input devices, even if it's the headset, because on my headset there are some buttons, so it reads those. The gaming mouse, uh, VJoy, which is the software side of thing, my uh, keyboard, some USB, rec USB receiver, and on uh, on top of here, it's joystick devices, which is the, the VRS DFP. I'm using the club sport pedals and wheel and LEDs. That's basically the rim I'm using from Paul Simmer. So right now you can minimize the server. You cannot close it with the cross here. Otherwise you will kill the task and it will not read anything. So basically, Probably the easiest thing to show you things will be through the GRT config. In the past, it was the separate exe file you used to edit things. Right now, it all happens on browser basis. So basically what you can see over here is the GRT license is active. Uh, this is the ID of my account. It will never expire for this GRT license. That means that at a certain point, when I do not have license anymore, there's still some updates available for me and the pro license itself as well. And I can update until 15 of December 2022 because I recently bought uh, a paid version, basically. So, here you have certain buttons. First of all, I want to uh, show you something which is called pages, which is the essential thing about the GRT itself. When you go into pages, it might sound, uh, it might look to you a bit difficult, but it's really simple in my opinion. Basically, when you go into the GRT pages in the left top corner right here, and you scroll down the field next to it, you can see all the pages that are available for you. Those are preset pages you can actually edit. So you're not stuck with something Joel made, but you can always do anything you want with it. Yeah. So let's start with, for example, I think the timing for is the one I use the most. And you're probably curious, how does it look like? So we go to the GRT uh, command prompt, whatever you would call it. And we search for local IP and we search for port. There are at least two or three ways how you can do this to launch appropriate or desired page. This is the one I started with. I basically take my IP. Let's see if I can copy paste it. I can. Double dot. We have a look at our port, which is 8000. We write 8000. Forward slash, backward slash. Not sure if this is forward slash, probably. Yeah forward slash, and then you write a name of the page you are looking for. So let's go to timing for dot HTML. You must write dot HTML at the end. Otherwise it will not give you anything. We go enter and you see that things immediately loaded. 
this is my custom page so on your end it will look differently but for the demonstration purposes it makes no difference and in the background i'm running i'm running uh, iRacing that's why i'm getting data if i was not in iRacing i would get the last data captured basically so you can see that if i play it basically from the replay it basically plays things but in here we see the real time data not what's in the replay but actual data happening at this second this second this second real time data pretty much yeah as you can see we have loads and loads of data here we have position we have class position which you can see it differs that means we're in a multi-class race which you can also tell by the the three colored boxes over here lmp1 dollar p217 and gte class we get class positions gained which only works in the race obviously we have car number we have name of the driver we have car he drives we have his i rating in the brackets you have two two dashes uh, because that's where it shows you how much i rating the certain the certain driver gets or loses you have his license in this case it tells you by the color it's a and it also gives you the exact number you can see relative to that guy you can see graphical delta which doesn't look that great in this case because uh it just usually works well in the race but you can use it in practice as well here you have a gap to the driver his last lap his best lap his laps completed his tire compound his uh real-time speed how many pits has he done how many uh, time he spent in the uh, pit lane uh sorry no this is how many laps he did since last pit stop how many a time he spent in the lane that means from the pit limiter till pit limiter this is how much he stayed in the in the slot how many incidents he has which is still not functional not because of joel real timing uh, sorry not because of the the software itself or joel who makes the software but because i race i racing does not provide these data in real time as far as i know and this is something you can use for example for, for ir18 car dollar ir18 which is push how many push to pass uh passes you have until the end you can also do different things uh by clicking uh on uh, on uh, different drivers first of all you can even control by this screen who's focused in uh i i racing that means that if i switch to richard hover and i i think double click it i you can see that i've switched to the richard harwood uh if i switch back on me you can see it switches to me so you can basically also use it to find drivers on track uh differently than you can do it in i racing also by here you can switch to all which is basically filtering those cars drivers uh, uh should you wish so uh where you can see all the drivers you see i can scroll through them i can see the the difference in color that means the lmp1 is yellow you can see it matches in the right top corner or rather middle maybe uh if i uh, select only lmp1 cars you can see there are three drivers at the moment uh two of them driving porsche uh and one audi the same applies for delara p217 the same applies for gte class so this is what you can do with the timing uh, i will show you a basics of editing let me switch to the regular timing page and you can see it has different format if i go to timing 2 again you can see it has a different uh, color i think this is with a um what is it transparent background uh, if i go to timing three 
it's gonna look again differently this is pretty much sort of a relative uh, also used for overlays we will speak in the in the different video what overlays are let's try to change things around okay so here we already get into editing things here you have the order which is important in this case because the order means what's going to be the first here what's going to be the second here what's going to be the third here you can have a look that if i uh, select order that the car number would be the first thing to see if i go here i will just grab sorry this i will just grab it and drag it to the first place and you can see that order has changed let me try to zoom it so you can see it a bit better uh, and you can see that if i've changed it and i hit save the number is now first if i go back and put it back to third position hit save you can see it changes immediately so this is how you change order so then you have something called title id this is basically to give you an example what it means if you hold your mouse over it you can see in detail that cpos means position in class then you have name that's basically what is displayed in this top corner let's say that i just want to rename um uh, what would i want to uh rename for example last just with a different type of letter so i just use small ones click save and you can see it is changed so if i go back i will change it back to capital save it and it should go back unless i have not saved it oh, i cannot see it this is terrible yeah i have not i have not saved it so now you can see it goes here we continue with width width basically defines how large that field is gonna be that means you can see that my name is cut out so let's try to increase length for the name field let's do 200 pixels hit save and you can see that my name is not cut anymore but we still got the guy who's cut here he is uh probably spanish and he's got a long name so let's do 300 pixels hit save and we get the alvaro sanchez so bleh, yeah alvaro let's stick with alvaro and you can see his name this this applies for all the remaining uh fields here or title ids also you have some options it doesn't come with every and each option but for example for the car you have several options you can have the car displayed as we get which is logo and transparent background you can see here it has a badge of uh motorwerke the ferrari the lara we can change that if you see here to name save and instead you can see it says bmw ferrari but again we don't see the name as it is so let's go to 100 pixels and you can see that even that is not enough but you get a point that's what you can change uh, in that field for different fields and we will not go through all of them you can see that it can be relative can be displayed in laps or seconds the license can be compact full iRacing style compact or iRacing style full again speed and decimals all of these are op optional for you to work with to play with so it suits what you want the best so and you may ask because your will look differently and you will for example will not you will not have the uh, average one average two average three as you can see if you scroll down in the previous page the timing four i told you that you have something for the lara ir18 which is pushed to pass which is not present in this screen anywhere it could be first it could be last but it's not there so basically you can look down here 
if there is anything else you would be interested so let's say you would be interested to see what tire compound the car runs so you activate by clicking here on the left and it goes to the last place but let's say you want it right between the name and the i uh, i uh, rating of the guy so it's activated you found the right order you prefer and you also have the options you can either get the logo or you can get a color silker with the initials as these cars only run single tire compound it will always give you the same color but for example the f1 car the w uh, i think it's called 12 uh, amg f1 car uh, it will give you three different colors so let's save and let's see it should be between the name and the i rating and there it is the tc which is the name we wanted and this is the tire okay why doesn't it show for all the drivers because they are most likely disconnected so it does not read anything from their cars as they are not in or on the server let's use um the lmp2 class where you can see that the guys that are actually on the server which you can also tell by seeing those speed numbers changing as well as acceleration which is supposed to mean g-forces those guys got that that means that once you're in the race you will see the compound for all the cars so this is everything for today's video today we have seen that you need to start a grt server in order to make things working we have seen that you need to write the local ip and the port plus forward slash and the name of the page including html which is this one that's how you uh, get to it we have seen how do you figure out what pages you have in order to display them and we have seen what you can do by editing those pages to your preference in the future video we will have a look at one page which is absolutely crucial and i will show you how to display it on different device compared to where you run the server from and where you might be also displaying things stay tuned for it this has been everything for today's video in the series how to grt 2022 revision my cloud